Hi, and welcome to FreedomMotive.com. My name is Carl Howard, and in today's session we are going to go over light propagation volumes inside of Unreal Engine 4. Here we are in Unreal Engine 4. Currently, the light propagation volume isn't on. And what light propagation volumes do is allow real-time uh, global illumination. To check if light propagations are on, you need to go down to click on show visualize and then go down to light propagation volume and as you can see nothing's popped up so what we need to do is exit outside of Unreal Engine 4 and then you need to go into your Unreal directory click on the game uh, the engine version you're using engine configuration and then scroll down to glow, uh, console variables once opened this window will pop up. In the last line, what you will need to type is r dot light propagation volume equals one. You don't need to worry about these semicolons in front. I'm going to click Control S to save, and then close my window. And minimize that. Now I have Unreal Engine 4 reopened. You can see it is still pretty dark. And if I go to show, visualize, light propagation volumes, nothing is showing up. What you need to do is with your directional light, you need to make sure that over in this screen here, in the detail, that it's set is movable. Once set is movable, scroll down, and this will be a little arrow here. Just click that, and then click dynamic indirect lighting. And then that we'll bring it up. Now that cube there that you see uh, visualize the light propagation volume so if I turn that back off that will just disappear. There are a load of options that you can do to set off light propagation volumes. Um, as you can see the light is bouncing with this bo uh, blue box we have a blue light hitting the back of this bench. This green box we have a green light and then the red box we have a red light bouncing. There are settings in the details panels which you can change like indirect lighting if you set that to zero that's going to turn the light propagation back off. Now if you change that to two you see it's going to get a bit more intense and just to exaggerate ten it's pretty blinding. So if I change that back to 1, and I scroll down here, you also have something called Cascade Shadow Maps. Now what these do is pretty much calculate real-time uh, global illumination uh, and shadows. So if you change them, uh, the shadowing, it changes the distance. So as I zoom out, they go, as I zoom in, they come back. Let's set that back as default. And uh, again, here, number of dynamic shadows will basically strengthen it or not. And as you can see, there is just a load of settings you can play around with to get the required look that you're trying to get. Another good thing is that inside of your post processing volumes, if you have one of them, underneath light propagation volume you can also change any of these settings. Here we can change the intensity again of the actual light and change that to zero and then it will turn off. I'm going to just leave that at one at the moment. Just give it time to calm down. And then with size again you've got how much uh, the ununits, unreal units it uses to calculate. So it's get, you get quite a smoother look to your uh, real time uh, global illumination as you turn up. But if you have it down quite low, you get these jaggedy lines. So I tend to leave that up a bit. You have all these other settings, so you can have a secondary bounce occlusion. So just gives it a bit more dark shadowing going on. 
Uh, sorry, change the wrong thing. So bring that back to zero. And then the light bounce here, if I had that at one, and then you change that. You can just see this slight change in the bounce light just down there. I'll scroll in a bit more. As you can see, it changes the bounce light. So you get more of it. And that's how you set up light propagation volumes inside of Unreal Engine 4. My name is Kyle, and thank you for watching 3 dmolive.com.